All right, so um, here in my computer room, I wanted to give a review of Justice League, and uh, be honest, had low expectations for it. You know, especially after you know the debacle of Batman versus Superman last year. But the uh, you know Wonder Woman came out this past summer, and it was awesome. It delivered. You know, put the DC back in the uh, in the race, so to speak. So. Went in to Justice League like, yeah, I mean, the previews were looking pretty good. So, uh, yeah. So, my hopes were a little up uh, as compared to, you know, a few months prior. Anyway, I saw it. And, uh, it, it's, I mean, it's a fun movie, no doubt. Uh, I had fun watching it. But for every one good thing they did, you know, they did one terrible thing. Um. It's just, man, I mean, it, all right. So I guess easiest to be the things I liked about it. Um, the return of Superman, finally. I mean, uh, Henry Cavill finally gets to shine somewhat despite the uh, uh, mustache gate deal. You know, he was uh, already filming Mission Impossible 6 when they called him back to do reshoots for Justice League. And his character in Mission Impossible had a full mustache. So, you know, Paramount said, nah, you got to keep it. So Warner Brothers had to get around that, you know, digitize it out of the reshot scenes. And it's, it is very noticeable. Man, it is. Wow. It's, it's, it's pretty bad. I guess if they had more time to do it, uh, it would have turned out better. But mm, it is very stands out a lot. Uh, but he is good. Henry Cavill, I mean, he comes in, you know, comes back with a, not attitude, but comes back with a, you know, feeling of, you know, I was dead. You know, you guys brought me back. I ain't leave me alone. Now that I'm back, you still need me to help you out. You know, he had that little, like, eh, I'm Superman. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to hang with Lois. But uh, he was good. Gal Gadot. As Wonder Woman, she was good too, you know, coming from her own solo film. She, uh, there are certain instances in this movie that you can tell is directed by a man as opposed to uh, Wonder Woman being directed by Patty Jenkins. Uh, there were a lot of shots that kind of focused in on uh, her certain areas. Uh, the Amazon themselves, uh, their look was, was more sexualized too. Um, just couldn't get around it. But uh, Gal was good. Uh, who else? Uh, oh, Jason Momoa as Aquaman. Yeah, yeah, he was good. I, I think he was my favorite of the new characters introduced, uh, along with uh, Cyborg and uh, Flash. I think uh, Jason was a uh, yeah. I mean, he's like that dude, you know, cool dude with the tats, and you know, you like hanging out with. Uh, so he was good. Um. The action sequences were pretty good. I can't complain. The best, the best scene to me was when they brought Superman back, and he wasn't sure what the deal was, what was going on. So they had to like kind of engage him, and Superman just like went through him, like like the lead with nothing. Um, that was pretty cool. Uh, da, 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 what else? What else was good? Um, I mean. I guess the overall, you could you could tell it was a, a, a fun light movie. You know, it had moments of, of you know of darkness and got serious for for a bit, but you, you can tell uh, they wanted to go in a uplifting way, not Batman versus Superman all over again. So in that respect, I think they they did a pretty good job. But you you can tell uh, you can kind of tell what parts were Zack Snyder as opposed to what was Josh Whedon. So and sometimes they don't really gel together. Um, another thing I didn't like was, oh, Steppenwolf, terrible villain, God awful villain. Just, uh, one of the worst villains I've ever seen. Um, he gets points being voiced by Syrian, uh, Hines who had that, that, that great, you know, commanding voice sounded impressive. But as far as the character it, himself, no, uh, I didn't, I didn't care for him. Um, yeah, I mean, as a whole, I, I think it's okay, but it's it is it is still 
you can tell it's a work in progress. Uh, they've got the, a road ahead of them to, to, you know, get things better. I mean, they, they is there. I mean, because it was, it was there for Wonder Woman. Maybe they just need to have Patty Jenkins direct the next couple of DC movies. But uh, I can't really, you know, give it, you know, I gave Wonder Woman a nine. Justice League, I'm going to probably give it around um, six and a half. Pushing seven. I mean, it's close, but. Uh, and, you know, I gave Batman versus Superman only a four, so it improves on that greatly. Uh, it just it is definitely a drop off from Wonder Woman. Um, like I said, you know, the return of Superman to his uh, what we are used to seeing Superman being heroic and uh, a beacon of hope. Yeah, that that's back. Uh, you know, because in, in um, Batman versus Superman, no nah, man, he was all brooding and and dark. It just didn't fit. Oh, flip side, Ben Affleck as Batman in this one, man, no. Man, I don't know what happened because he was like, yeah, he was all it in Batman vs. Superman. You know, taking charge, doing his thing, being Batman. In this, man, he's like the butt of so many jokes. It's almost everybody is pushing him around. This is not the Batman that you uh, look up to and, and you know, admire and, and like, oh, man, yeah, Batman, he's a shit. In this one, no, I'm sorry. He was just like, I don't know there for the ride or something because it, this was not the batman we uh, all know and love so like i say my i give it six and a half you know I, I can't really give it no more i will see it again you know can't say the same thing for uh batman versus superman but yes i will see it again um i mean it's a great year for comic book movies so it is, it is at the bottom of my list but that's not a slight because you know i mean logan spider-man homecoming Wonder Woman, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, uh, was just so great, you know, I mean, uh, Thor, Ragnarok, awesome, you know, it's just probably one of the best years for comic book movies ever, so far, you know, up until next, you know, until next year comes along, but, uh, you know, six and, six and a half, maybe seven, uh, you know, once I see it on Blu-ray, it may go up, but, uh, yeah, that's where I stand, so that's my review, um, uh, um, more reviews to come of more movies. All right. Thanks for uh, watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please like and comment if you please. All right. Thanks. Bye.